I have a uh, Ford Focus RS, um, and uh, it has a peculiar problem here. The uh, windshield wiper stops about three, four inches from the edge of the windshield. That's so not a problem now in the summer when it's raining. Oh, my window here, it's a little hot in the car. Um, however, when uh, basically in the winter, it's gonna be a big problem because I'm gonna have this much snow here and this much A-pillar, and I'm not gonna be able to see a darn thing at the, uh, the corner of the car here. So that's a little dangerous. But what I understand is that you can actually calibrate this using Forescan. So that is what I'm doing here. So I've already connected Forescan to the uh, to the vehicle. Um, actually, I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to connect it again. Yes. Oops. All right. So I figured out that the switch down is HS H scan HS can and switch up is. MS can, so switch up, down here, hit yes, there we go, good, now I can go over here to service procedures, all right, I'm going to go down to windshield wiper motor calibration, run that procedure. Okay, now this has to be HS can, so I have to switch this down. Okay, hit OK there, and there we go. WMM is in calibration mode. Performing the next manual operations as instructed by the workshop manual for windshield wiper motor initialization. Push the wiper washer switch down three times within five seconds. Wipers will swipe upwards to a pre-initialized position and stop. Gently pull both wipers out towards the A-pillar molding to the specified distance as defined in the workshop manual. I don't know what that is, but it's farther to the, uh, or it's closer to the A-pillar than it is now. So here, I'm going to give that a shot. Hit down three times. One, two, three. Well, damn, look at that. All right. Well, now I'm going to get out of the car. So you have to basically pull the wiper toward the A-pillar to the specified distance and then push the wiper washer switch down once and it'll sweep down and park and that's it. Let's go do that. Very excited. All right, here we go. See how far away it stops here? That is way too far. That is way farther than my ST was. So I'm going to lift it up, gently move it out, closer to the A-pillar, let's say about there. I have to do that on the other side too. This one I'm not as worried about. There we go. Down on the stock once. Sweeps down. I'm going to hit OK to finish this. Close the door so the chime stops. So, carry out a low speed windshield wipe to make sure the windshield wiper motors and arms are parked in the correct position. And then do a high speed one. Alright, let's see. Uh, low speed. All right, that looks good. Let's try. Uh, it's definitely better. Let's try a high speed one. Uh, it's still not doing exactly what I want, but have to work on that again, but at least we know the procedure. All right, well, that's my video. Uh, if you like this, uh, please subscribe. Um, I'm going to work on this again and see if I can uh, get those things to be close to the A-pillar. I'm not sure exactly why it's stopping so far away, even after I calibrated it. 
I ended up doing the procedure again exactly the same way as I did before. Um, however, this time uh, I moved the wipers out a little bit farther than, uh, than what I had done before and it has definitely changed the calibration now. You can see it's going this far from the edge now. You can see here I had actually moved the wiper all the way over here. So it seems like you have to move the wiper a little bit farther than what you um, where you want it to go in order for the sensor to uh, to pick up um, where the wiper, essentially where the wiper blade is. Um, I, I guess the resolution of the sensor isn't isn't that great. But uh, so I may try it again and move it out just a little bit farther. But I'm satisfied with the uh, result, and and I should uh, be able to uh, clear my windshield without having uh, you know a whole ton of snow left there in the winter. So I'm pretty happy. Anyway, thanks for watching.